Hello everybody and welcome to this video which is part one in a series of experiments that I intend to perform to sort of evaluate uh, binary option trading sites and platforms against one another. This particular experiment pertains to the majority vote strategy which we had discussed in our series Understanding Binary Options. I believe it was part four. And what this strategy essentially says is that a lot of uh, trading platforms and sites will provide information as to the way other people are, are, are choosing put versus call for a particular trade. And essentially, in, uh, when we utilize the majority vote strategy, we believe in safety in numbers. And we say that, well, irrespective of our own logic or, or what our own intuition tells us to do, we're just going to do whatever the majority of the people are doing. And therefore, we're going to believe in safety in numbers. And um, essentially, if they win, if the majority of people win, we're going to win too. Now, for the same exact trade that's happening across multiple different sites, essentially people should have the same, diff uh, same amount of information. And in fact, the information they're using should more or less be the same because presumably they're getting it from um, the same reliable source or sources. So what we'd expect to see is that irrespective of a trading site or platform, people should be uh, trading in roughly the same way. So what this experiment is going to do is we're going to look at uh, two um, trading uh, sites, binary option trading sites, and they're chosen uh, for no apparent reason. It's just a fairly random choice of these two sites. And we're going to compare the same index, or if time allows us, multiple indices, at the same time for the same exact trade, and we're going to look at the way people are um, trading for that particular um, trade, uh, which is to say we're going to look at the statistics that are provided by the trading platform um, with respect to the way people are selecting put versus call for that trade. And uh, essentially what we're hoping to see is that the information provided by each of the two uh, sites should roughly uh, correlate with one another. It should roughly align. And since I'm doing this in live time, I have no idea what the exact results are going to look like, but we'll get into the analysis component of it later. So let's get right uh, started. The first uh, site I'm going to look at is Trade Rush. Um, so let's get to that. Trade Rush, there we are. And uh, let's, let's see, it brought us to the US dollar, to the Japanese yen. And uh, this option expires in 7 minutes and 56 seconds. Um, the current value is 85.785. And we see that 55% of the people are calling and 45% of the people are putting. So let's uh, pick another site. I'm going to search B binary, and here we have bbinary.com. And let's look at the same index. It's it's U.S. dollar to Japanese yen, and um, 85.793. Whereas here it's 85.759. Um, those are remarkably different, considering that this option also expires in what I think is seven minutes something so so yes it's exactly the same um, trade because this one expires in seven minutes and 14 seconds as does that one but essentially their value is 85.760 versus trade rush shows the value is 85.792 and both of these are the US dollar to the Japanese yen so maybe that should be a subject of, of a subsequent video um, how, how often do the um, values provided by each of these sites uh, correlate with one another and they are right now 85.793 85.793 but they weren't just a couple of minutes ago and uh, that's something we should look into but at any rate what we see is that for uh, bbinary.com it says that 58 percent of people have decided to call and uh, 42 percent of people have decided to put whereas for trade rush we see 55 percent of people have decided to call and 45 percent uh, of people have decided to put and uh, these are not exactly the same, but they do roughly correlate with one another. So that does make sense. Let's pick a different index. Let's try the um, euro to the US dollar. Here we see on Trade Rush, there's six minutes and about nine, eight seconds left. Uh, let's pick the same index here. Let's pick the uh, euro to the US dollar. And again, uh, we see that the value on Trade Rush is 1.32447. Here it's uh, slightly different, roughly the same. But what we see here is on Trade Rush, 38% of people are calling and 62% have decided to put. Whereas um, on bbinary.com, 43% of the people have decided to call and 57% of the people have decided to put. So again, um, the majority is the same for both the websites, 
but the distributions are different. Um, in my opinion, 57% versus 43% on B binary is a little harder to call than, uh, sorry, I shouldn't use the word call. It's a little harder to, uh, to separate um, versus the distribution on Trade Rush, 62% um, versus 38%, whereas it's much easier to see here where the majority is. And uh, let's go ahead and pick a third index. Let's try the uh, Canadian dollar to the Japanese yen. On Trade Rush, it's 55% to 45%. Um, and what do we have um, on B binary? 45% to 55%. Um, it's completely the opposite. Now, there's something interesting. One would expect that since these people who we're, we're, we're putting our faith in um, presumably know what they're doing, they should um, believe in roughly the same things um, because they should come to the same logical conclusions, roughly. But here we see that the majority in the case of bbinary.com is in, in the case of call and uh, the majority in the case of trade rush is, um, is with respect to put. And the distributions are identical, just reversed, 55% versus 45%. And it's true that the trade is not happening anytime soon. It's in a few. It's, there, there's still some time to it. It's not expiring immediately. But even so, uh, the distributions are completely opposite. And that's, that's an interesting point. Um, let's try one more. Let's try the Australian dollar to the Japanese yen. Um, here's another thing that's um, not expiring anytime soon. But let's see what we find. Australian dollar to Japanese yen is right here. Um, this roughly aligns. We see that um, both sites show roughly 58 to 59 percent of the people are calling, and uh, roughly f just above 40 percent of the people have decided to put. In this case, uh, there's uh, there's consensus. Um, one more. Let's try the New Zealand dollar to the U.S. dollar. Whoops! Again, we find that um, on Trade Rush, 53%, the majority of the people have decided to call, whereas in bbinary.com, um, the majority of people have decided to put. And uh, the difference is quite strong in the case of bbinary. It's 59% versus 41%, whereas in the case of Trade Rush, it's 47% to 53%, which is uh, slightly closer. But uh, what are we really getting at here? It's okay that different websites show different information, but uh, from the perspective of a trader, it shouldn't matter. We're assuming all sites are exactly the same from our perspective. We just want to trade and we want to make money. So were we to go with respect to the majority um, strategy, what, what this is telling us is that depending on which site we're getting our information from, our decision would change. Hypothetically, let's say this particular trade, New Zealand dollar to US dollar, were expiring in two minutes and we needed to make a choice right now. If we were to go with the information provided by Trade Rush, we would decide to call because that's where the majority is, 53% to 47%. But if we were um, going with bbinary.com, we would decide to put because that's where the majority is, 59% to 41%. And... Um, Again, these are just two random sites that we picked, um, but the point that we need to focus on is that depending, there's a lot of variables out there, but we've added one more variable to the mix, and that's which particular website, uh, which particular trading platform we're making use of, because we're extremely reliant on the information that's provided to us by this particular trading website or trading platform. And I think that's, uh, we, we didn't see this for all the indices. For, for a lot of the indices, um, truth be told, they were reasonably well aligned. But I believe this is the second index where we've seen um, completely opposite majorities. And I think that is something that we need to discuss. Um, perhaps not in this video because it's already been long enough, but in a future video. So in summary, we, we examined um, identical trades going on um, at the same time except across multiple uh, different trading websites and different trading platforms and uh, for some of them we notice that the consensus is in the same place uh, the majority as described in one website is exactly the majority described by the other website but we found that that's not always the case and that's important because essentially this brings one more variable into the mix which is the choice of trading platform that we intend to use 
So that's about it for now. We'll get into the analysis of the data we found um, in a subsequent video. And um, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope uh, and I hope it helps us understand why the choice of trading platform um, is very very important. And we'll talk about this some more in our next video. Thank you very much.